Hello everybody, welcome back to Robert's Gardening Experiment. I am here to give you an update on things that have been happening with our gardening. We have had an invasion of insects or bugs, worms. I've had issues with our uh, flower bushes. One of them is dead so far and we have two of them that have been attacked either by uh, little black worms that are about that big sometimes, which I've seen two of them, or they've been attacked by insects like sp spider mites or something like that. I've heard people say that the, the spring, uh, whatever they're called, uh, spring mites or whatever, a lot of people call them soil mites. They uh, say that they're harmless but for me uh, I'm something is attacking these plants and they create black spots on it and for me that bug might be harmless but what happens when the what I'm asking is what happens when the plant itself becomes sick you know do these bugs turn around and attack the plant that you're trying to you know heal or do they leave it alone for me I don't want any kind of bugs attacking it it might be harmful or harmless with a healthy bug but what about one that is sick and needs to be you know needs to recovery I don't want to just give up on a plan I try to work with them and uh, try to bring them back to good health you know I've been taking some suggestions this one is my newest one it's a uh, soap water I don't agree with you know using uh, detergents or whatever is in here chemicals that are in here but I'm desperate at the moment so I'm willing to try it because I've been using uh, oh. I've been using a peroxide and uh, water which has been suggested and it's not really doing very well with them the bugs are still coming around the gnats too so I had to step up my game with it now this my brother he does the uh, the mixing and he I believe it's something like uh, one tablespoon or teaspoon for a cup or something more than that but he does the mixing and I spray it on the, the plants also what I've been doing is another suggestion it's a uh, I've been adding an aspirin to this bottle right here and I shake it around like this and then I take it and I spray it on the plants um, it seems to be doing real good I've got a video of uh, peach seeds that I've started five days ago and I've sprayed that on it and it really does help out um, I put the seeds in uh, those green uh, mesh looking things that they have and then I put sponges underneath it to where it gives it moisture and I put it inside of a plastic container and I did that because I, I don't want to give up on the condensation idea so I'm going to keep working on that and come up with better ideas but uh, I uh, did that and I showed video in it or I have video of it and I'm going to be showing it but it's uh, what happened afterwards and I sprayed the peroxide and water and some aspirins on it and so far it looks like it's okay and those plants are literally those seeds are literally growing pretty fast so I'm going to show you the results of my uh, plants that I had to on a that that uh, had a seed rot and let you see the soil I already tried to do this once and the video got lost so I want to do it again with my mic and with the drone video do my best to maybe narrate if I have to but uh, I lost that video and I'm gonna have to show you afterwards what happened I pulled together all the limbs of the 
trees that got attacked. And I also have the roots from the dead uh, rose bush. And I'm wanting to show you what we've got good going on with the tomato plant and with Robert's, uh, I keep wanting to call it a coconut tree, but it's not a coconut tree, it's a, a pineapple tree. Um, that they're, they're both looking okay. And we're still working on keeping what's left of these rose bushes uh, going. So, like I said, if uh, my audio and video is messed up on it, that's the reason why I did this is so that I could let you guys know what's going on. And I'm going to do my best to edit it and get it to where it looks nice. I'm getting better at it, but it's going to take a little while before I can talk back and forth to the camera like this. So, and I'm making another video series about what I'm doing with these videos and I'll be able to let you guys look at it. I don't want to, you know, push it on that one because it's not going to come out anytime soon, maybe within a month or so. Um, but I'll have video footage of showing you what I've done, what I've learned. And see, out of everything, this is something that I actually, that we actually have something good to talk about. It's this, uh, tomato plant. That pendulum right there is what I uh, set up when I took the stick out for support and used string. I added this weight down here which you can see the wind blowing and it doesn't affect the plant. actually helps the plant to be honest with you um, every time the wind blows it actually uh, instead of bouncing into the plant it adjusts its weight to where it gives the plant stability against the wind and helps it the board right here that I'm showing is what the string is attached to and the string is right there in the center and it runs right down the center of that board all the way to the weight which is down next to the bottom of the plant. When uh, I did this up I also took little strings and I attached them to the tomato plant. I didn't do them tight, I did them loosely so that it would just hold on to the plant and keep it in place. I can also adjust this string to where the plant can grow straight instead of slanted up. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't like the tomato barrier thing at all. I'm, I hate those things, but I can say it's very useful here. And that is my counterweight right there, my pendulum that I set up. It's a pretty good deal. Um, the, down at the bottom, I noticed that the leaves didn't grow back, but the leaves are starting to sprout back out on the tomato plant higher up on it. I'm guessing that it stopped or just didn't want to grow the leaves back because we had to struggle at keeping it alive. There was a time there where we didn't think this plant was going to survive, but it came through. And it's looking decent now. About maybe three weeks ago, it started leafing back up and it started sprouting back out. This is Robert's uh, cantaloupe, or not cantaloupe, but uh, his uh, other plant um, that he started without a root. He took it and uh, did like they suggested on YouTube and took out the bottom part and stuck it in the soil. We made videos on it before and it's doing pretty good now too. I took scissors and trimmed off some of the dead branches. This is one of the uh, flower bushes I was talking about. It literally got attacked and it isn't looking all that great. I started putting stuff on it that I was describing to you earlier to try to help it out. Now that right there, that stem, or that, that trunk, I literally had to cut that off earlier. Um, it got some kind of bite on it and it was hanging over. So. This is the other flower bush that this is what's left of it. 
whatever is attacking is taking out every branch and this is all that's left of it. We are working on trying to keep what's left of it going. And here are the bottles that I've been using to fill up with the stuff that I've been putting on them. Coming over here, I'm going to show you the root system of the dead flower bush that I've got. I'm going to put some water in there. I've got a little bit of aspirin on the bottom and I'm going to spray that down and put it indoors tomorrow to see if it can be rejuvenated. Um, if not, at least I can say I gave it a try. Um, I was going to throw it away, put it in the, the planter box and just let it rot, but then I thought about it. We have the parts here. Now see this is what I'm talking about. This is the brown spots that look like they've been bit into. Um, they've been appearing on all of these branches. You got the same thing here. Um, I've checked underneath the, the leaves. I don't know how good of a shot you can get of it, but I this is what they look like. The damage has been done to them. Um, it's pretty bad. There's those holes right there. I don't know how good you can see underneath that. But, uh, but that right there, this is what I'm talking about. They bite into them right here. And they, the trunks just give way and they fall over. It's happened so much that I've just started clipping them off. I don't even try to save the trunk. I just cut it off. I'm going to try with the soap water and see what happens if it helps. If it doesn't, then, I mean, I've, at least I've given it my best, you know. Um, and that's pretty odd, too. We put that in the water and let it stand, and it actually has been uh, that green, this green, because it's been in water underneath it for a week straight, and it's actually... I, I was wanting to find out if it, had, it could grow roots back, and that's where I've been putting that for the entire day. So now I'm going to get to the seeds that I had that ended up getting uh, uh, seed seed rot, and uh, we had these inside the house in toilet paper in small cups. I don't know if I made videos of them or not, but. I took them out of there after I seen it and I wanted to put them in here to see if maybe they would still grow and according to what you've seen right there it, it still didn't grow and there's no results here either in this container they just didn't grow I uh, gave it a week and there was no results I, these earlier I opened them up with the toilet paper and I checked in the toilet paper because what I did is I just took the toilet paper with the seeds and stuck them on there and when I checked through with all of them I couldn't find one, even any signs of the seeds inside of it. It was like they just vanished. My guess is they just rotted away and disappeared into the soil. I found a couple of seeds. Um, here's a uh, one, the, there was only one of them that actually had toilet paper. The other two didn't have any toilet paper in it. Um, they were the ones that I had in the sponge with water. So I learned my lesson on this whole experience about using too much water and getting seed rot and all kinds of rot. I'm going to double my efforts and we're going to go different route. Here's one of the seeds that I had. It just never did respond. It didn't grow. I don't know how long it takes for it to grow, but, but my best guess is it's done for. We put the poor seeds through heck. Um, that is basically what I've uh, done, or all I had to catch up on so far. So, I, if you like what you've seen, Please like, subscribe, share, leave some comments, some advice, 